सीबीएसई क्लास ट्वेल्व प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स इन फिजिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर वन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सोर्सेस एंड एक्सेसरीज 1.1 पॉइंट वन टू डिटर्माइंड रेसिस्टेंस पर सेंटीमीटर ऑफ अ गिवन वायर बाई प्लॉटिंग अ ग्राफ ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वर्सिस करंट एम टू डिटर्माइंड रेसिस्टेंस पर सेंटीमीटर ऑफ अ गिवन वायर by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current materials required dc voltmeter plug key resistance wire connecting wires ammeter meter scale rheostat a piece of sandpaper and a battery procedure setting up the elements of circuit make a circuit with battery resistor rheostat voltmeter and ammeter are shown in the circuit before using the connecting wires clean their ends with sandpaper so that any insulation could be removed make clean and tight connections while making the circuit ensure that positive and negative terminals of ammeter and voltmeter are connected to the suitable terminals of the battery determine the least count of voltmeter and ammeter note the zero error if any Insert the plug key and check if ammeter and voltmeter are working properly by sliding the rheostat slider. Measurement of resistance of the wire. By sliding the rheostat contact, adjust the resistance so that the measurable current passes through the resistant wires. Note down the value of potential difference and current from voltmeter and ammeter respectively. Shift the rheostat constant slightly to ensure full division reading on voltmeter and ammeter. Avoid taking the reading in fractional divisions. Take at least 5 sets of observation. Determination of resistance per centimeter of wire. Cut the resistance wire at the ends where it leaves the terminal of the voltmeter. Stretch the wire and measure its length by using a meter scale. Record your observations. Observations. Results. The graph between potential difference and current is the straight line. Hence, potential difference is directly proportional to the current. The resistance per centimeter of the given wire is 0.03 ohm centimeter inverse 1.2 to find resistance of a given wire using meter bridge and hence determine the specific resistance of its material aim to find resistance of a given wire using meter bridge and hence determine the specific resistance of its material materials required meter bridge resistance wire connecting wires galvanometer a meter scale cell resistance box screw bridge a jockey wire cutter one way key a resistance box sandpaper procedure a meter bridge also known as slide wire bridge is based on the principle of wheatstone's bridge it is used to measure unknown resistance of a wire by measuring its length setting up the meter bridge Clean the insulation at the ends of the connecting wires by rubbing with sandpaper. Tighten all the plugs of the resistance box by pressing and turning each plug. Make tight connections as per the circuit diagram.
connect the resistance wire whose resistance is to be determined in the left or right gap of the meter bridge. Testing connections for correctness. For this, introduce a suitable resistance from the resistance box. Switch on the key to complete the circuit. Press the jaw key at the start of the first gap and then to start of the second gap of the meter bridge and note the direction of deflection of galvanometer needle. Deflections in galvanometer in opposite direction for the two ends means that connection is done properly. If deflections are on the one side only, then there is some fault in the circuit. Measuring balancing length. Adjust the resistance from resistance box so that you can attain balance point near the midpoint of the wire. Note down the value of R and the position of jockey. Change the resistance from resistance box and try to attain balance point as earlier. Take more readings by changing resistance from the resistance box. Measuring diameter of wire. Cut the unknown resistance wire at the points where it leaves the binding terminals. Stretch it to remove kinks and measure its length using a meter scale. Find the least count and zero error of the screw gauge. Measure the diameter of the wire by the screw gauge. Measure the diameter at four more points uniformly spaced throughout the length of the wire in two mutually perpendicular directions at each point. Record your observations and find mean value of diameter. Observations and Calculations Result The value of resistance for the given wire is The specific resistance of a material for wire is with a percentage error of one3 To verify the laws of combination series of resistance using a meter bridge. Aim to verify the laws of combination series of resistance using a meter bridge. Materials required Meter bridge Given resistors Connecting wires One-way key Sandpaper Resistance box Jockey Battery and a galvanometer Procedure Resistance are said to be in series if they are connected end to end. The equivalent resistance for series combination is more than the individual resistance. Setting up the apparatus. Draw a circuit diagram as shown in the given figure. In place of unknown resistance X, connect the resistance coil R1 in the meter bridge. To check connections, touch the jockey gently at left and right ends of slide wires. If galvanometer shows deflection in opposite directions for the two ends, then connections are correct. Determination of individual resistance Move the jockey or bridge wire gently from left end to the right end till balance point is observed. The value of resistance R from resistance box is also adjusted to obtain the balance point nearly at mid of the bridge wire. Repeat these steps to take at least three observations by changing the resistance R from resistance box. Similarly, determine the resistance R2 and note the observations. Determination of equivalent resistance Now, connect series combination of R1 and R2 in place of unknown resistance X in the gap of meter bridge and proceed to obtain the balance point. Take at least three observations. Observations Is
result. Experimental and theoretical values of RS are nearly same. Hence, law of series combination of resistance is verified. 1.4. To verify the laws of combination parallel of resistance using a meter bridge. Aim. To verify the laws of combination parallel of resistance using a meter bridge. Materials required. Meter bridge. Given resistors. Connecting wires. One bay key. Jockey. Battery eliminator. Sandpaper. Resistance box. And the galvanometer. Procedure Resistance are said to be connected in parallel when one end of each resistance is connected at one common point and their other ends are connected to other common point. The equivalent resistance of parallel combination is less than the individual resistance. Set up the apparatus as given in the circuit diagram. Determine the value of individual resistance by following the same steps as in the experiment 10s attach the given resistors R1 and R2 in parallel combination by sliding the galvanometer calculate the balancing length for parallel combination by following same steps of experiment 1.2 repeat these steps for at least 3 times and calculate the mean resistance observations Result, experimental and theoretical values of RP are nearly same, hence law of parallel combination of resistance is verified.